So just how accurate is the Java TC app? And this can be found tesla.nu programs java tc java tc .html. Um, so to start out um, what I'm trying to figure out is the frequency of the secondary that I'm working with and I'm ignoring the first part there so these numbers here for the basically which is the room that I'm in now and uh, those are pretty rough numbers for that um, and on down for the secondary, um, the coil is, or the pipe is six and a quarter, um, top and bottom, and the height one, that's going to be how far from the floor up do th does the first turn on the secondary start. In my case, it's 38 and a half, and 50 and a half is where it ends, so it's a 12 inch coil. Uh, with 12 inches of windings on a six and a half, uh, six and a quarter inch pipe. All right, so then you put in the wire size, and this wire is it's a 32, it's 0 .008, and there's 1,500 turns on this secondary. Now let me show you where I'm getting these numbers here. All right, so from the floor down there up here, it gives me this um, 38 and a half. All right. And then up here, we've got, it's, it's hard to see on with the phone, I'm sure, but it's 50 and a half. And uh, up here is 53, 53 and a half. But there's something there that I've got to show you about. All right, so we've got a, just a disc up top with the, uh, with the breakout wire there. All right, so here's those numbers again. 38 and a half, 50 and a half, our number of turns, the wire size, and the radius. This is a radius, not a diameter. So if you go to put them in, and uh, it may may not be the right size. So you just want to make sure you got the radius there. And then down here, um, let me start with the disc. This is the disc object. There's no inside diameter on this disc. It does have a small hole, but that hole is filled with a, a bolt. Um, so zero, I'm going to say with that. And the outside diameter is uh, seven inch. And the disc height, I've got it to where it shows sitting right on top of the um, secondary. That's not exactly right, as it, I showed you a second ago. There's um, maybe three inches, I guess, maybe, between the top of the secondary and the top of the pipe where that disc is sitting. Uh, so then after I fill that in, then hit add over there. And then the next thing is the uh, sphere object, which I am calling this the breakout wire. And that's about the size of the wire. And then the uh, vertical diameter is basically how, how tall it is. Uh, I've got seven on here and the center height is 54 that's again that's a little bit skew but I went with right on top of the secondary and then add that now down here it gives you the specs if you just hit the run Java TC right there and you should have a picture if you're if you're if you're not getting a picture here then you're not putting these numbers in right most likely so if you're trying to go from 0 to 12 but um, you know or something like that there's a possibility it, it may show your coil outside of the box it's it's what you got your dimensions set on here alright so 144 kilohertz is what this shows it should be but like I said this isn't exactly like my setup there's a gap right here and it sits about right there alright now let's go turn my coil on and see what frequency it is like this alright so I'm going to turn this on and 144 kilohertz just right here on the meter it was 144.6 but um, 
this shows 144, so it's really close. 